If you are using Windows 11 and facing laggy or frame drop issues, then it is not just always for your GPU or CPU. Sometimes it happens because of your services on your system background, which is running every time on your PC unnecessary and which is have no use. So in this video tutorial, I will show you guys how to find and disable those services which is running on your system computer background. So before start this video, make sure that do not disable core windows services. Also make sure that don't disable any defender or security related services. So firstly, what I'll do is I will go to my task manager for that. I will right click on my start menu icon and click on task manager. And here on this window, if we'll click on, uh, let me uh, click on this uh, performance tab, you will see one CPU option over here. So if you click on CPU, it will show you how many processes running on your PC. So currently it's near about 150 processes running on my computer. So now what you have to do is you just need to simply uh, just click on run a new task. And after that, you just need to type over here services.msc. Now press enter from your keyboard. Now it will open services window. Now here you just need to disable a few services which I'll give you on my video description all the name. So you can uh, disable one by one all the services which is not required generally on your Windows 11 PC. So first, first uh, service is Windows error reporting, which is uh, here it is as you can see, Windows error reporting service. Simply right click on it and click on properties. And here you just need to select over here disable. Now click on OK, apply OK. Now next one is remote desktop service. So if you are not using any re remote desktop uh, or if you are not connecting through remote desktop, then easily you can uh, disable them uh, from your PC. So simply right click, go to properties and disable them. Now I'll disable secondary logon, which is here it is as you can see. So I'll right click, go properties and then click on disable. Next, I will disable Windows Insider service. So right click on it and go to properties then click on disable. Next, I will disable retail uh, demo service, which is basically uh, for retail demo mode, uh, not needed for personal use. So simply right click on it and click on disable. Next, if you are not using Bluetooth, then simply disable Bluetooth support service. So I'll right click and go to disable. In future, if you need a Bluetooth support service or blue, if you need to connect through your Bluetooth, then you have to enable this service on your PC. Next, I will disable Xbox services. So simply you need to find Xbox services. So right click on any Xbox game services and simply disable this. Next, I will disable uh, if you are using a printer on your computer, then don't disable it. If you are not using any printer or scanner, then disable it simply right click and go properties and then disable. Next, you need to disable smart card service. So here it is, as you can see, simply right click on it, smart card service and go properties and disable it. Next, I will disable connect user experience and telemetry which is basically gather and send uh, users data of Microsoft. So you just need to right click and go properties and simply disable it. Next, I will disable diagnostic policies service. So here it is, as you can see, so I'll disable. Next, I will disable Windows biometric service, which is not required in my case. So basically it is for a fingerprint or scanner. So I will disable this simply. Next, you need to disable IP helper. If you, if you are not using IPv6 address, then simply disable it because I'm using IPv4 address on my system. 
Next, you just need to uh, disable our download offline maps. So here is downloaded maps manager, which is right click and disable it. So if you are not using maps on your Windows 11, then simply disable it. Next is Windows image acquisition. So simply right click on it and go properties and then disable it. So after I disable all the service, now I'll go to my uh, task manager and simply I will click on CPU. Now, as you can see right now, the process is running, which is 141. So before ending this video, I would like to share a few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.